So here I am on the day after Christmas and I really been wanting to do something to my truck and I don't really have a lot of money to invest in it right this minute. So I thought, what could I do to make an improvement on the truck? So I've decided that the engine compartment is what I'm working on today. And uh, I'm gonna remove this, uh, what's left of this insulator pad for now. I'm not gonna put another one back in right now. And uh, the engine compartment is pretty nasty. As you can see, there's leaves, but this is what really gets me down here. Look at, look at all this. And so I'm gonna clean it out as good as I can, get all the loose stuff. And then I got this uh, gunk engine degreaser and a little scrub pad. And we're going to just see what we can do. So I have the uh, insulation pad out and I have put they make a pad that you can put under the engine to catch all the stuff whenever you clean it. I bought a piece of automotive carpet that was actually cheaper than those pads. At least catch the grease and uh, protect the ground. It's still wet, but I gave it its first wash and uh, there's some places that are gonna need some more tension. I completely missed this spot. There's cobwebs down there. Well, wow. and I didn't get to that wheel wheel right there yet. But uh, these valve cover gap, these valve covers. And I think I'm going to take that carburetor, uh, that breather off the filter, so that I can get down. In the <coughs> I'm still working. I've tried wire brushes, not going as smoothly as I had hoped it would. But I've given this thing two or three washes and. Uh, didn't come as clean as I would have liked for it to. That valve cover right there looks decent. Some of it came off back there. I scrubbed it. Uh, I guess it's all I'm going to need to turn turn it over to a professional. But it's 25 years of grime and and uh, rust. And so I'm working on it. I'm painting breather cover. Uh, you can see there I've put a little paint on that. I'm using some uh, tire shine to shine up anything that will shine with that and uh, I'll put it back together. Then I'm going to work on this bumper. I saw on television or YouTube that uh, Coke, Coke or Cola and uh, aluminum foil will get this rust off. So I'm gonna give that a shot here in just a, a few minutes. Well, I did a little bit of the rust and, it, and this uh, cola and uh, aluminum foil really works. So I wanted to try to show you, I don't have a cameraman. Uh, my cola of choice is Dot Pepsi. And I'm gonna pour that right there. And then I got some aluminum foil that I've made into like a scrub ball. And Look at that. Sorry about the camera. Look at that. Gone. So anyway, we'll work on the rest of it. I've taken it about as far as I can take it today. I uh, I did about three different cleanings. Some with, with some gunk engine cleaner and I used some purple power and I painted some pieces and uh, put some armor all some of the other pieces and uh, looks better still got some work to do I think the next step is going to be to take those valve covers completely off and maybe get them blasted or something but anyway I think that for now it looks better Insulation pad out from under the hood. It was in bad shape. All right.